my family can't wait for the festive, really festive period to just come in. And I want to say you're welcome to this most informative channel. This is where a woman out there is well informed to take care of herself, of our health, of our mind, of our soul, of our spirit, of our husband, and of our children. Well, even your neighbors. Because what you know can help somebody. Like the question somebody asked sometimes that um, on her way to work, she saw a baby convulsing, but because she doesn't know what to do, she, she was perplexed and she, she felt the baby would have died by now. Amazingly. All you just need to do is get to where that baby is, try to remove a lot, uh, any clothes around and just uh, pour some cold water and just use your, you, you use the wood and just put a um, handkerchief and just put it in, in into her mouth so that the teeth will not that there will still be erection and you tilt the head up a little bit so that um, saliva will not go to where oxygen go to. Simple as that. And this is the forum where we give you all those information. But before I start, I want you to know that you need to call somebody. And that's a pen and a paper. Pen and a paper that retain more memory than your brain. So, I will be right back shortly after the break. Are you concerned or worried or troubled about your health, about your marriage, your own, your children, your family? I know. Women out there, we are cumbersome with loads of activities. We are even under the pressure to perform pressures of all sorts of runs and goals. For this singular reason, I have come up with a package that is full of information educative a packaging that is so practically providing solution for every woman out of that and that's why you have to join me on time out with Fumi Akin Bade the prestigious station same time by 11 to 12 noon Monday to Friday is a live program did I just tell you that my name is Fumi Akin Bade yes I'm Fumi Akin Bade your certified sex therapist your sexual health consultant, family and home management expert, and guess what? Guess what? Just guess it. One and only host of this exciting program that is on air. Time out with me, Akimari. So, I'm looking forward for you to join me in the next episode. Welcome back. We are still on to Time out with me, Akimari. And I still remain with me, Akimari. And today we are looking at information we are that is before the real doctor comes. My name is Fumi Akimari. I said it before. I am a registered staff nurse midwife for the federal government of Nigeria. I'm also a health provider, a medical health provider with medicine hospitals. And I also have a PhD in sex therapy. And today we are just still continuing how to prevent a heart attack. Do you know that recently we got to know that there's a specific um, um, ketchup tomatoes that has been banned in Israel all because it's loaded with chemicals. We are still trying to tell you that none of all these chemicals and they are just the reason for most of our ailments. And some of the time when, you talk, when they talk about heart attack, arteriosclerosis, coronary heart disease, and that hypertension, we're still looking at the broad, uh, broad uh, uh, effect on the heart. Sometimes some people do not differentiate. When you hear about cardiovascular, it just means that the heart has a blood vessel. So when they say there's a cardiovascular disease, there's a cardiovascular blocking, it means the fat density in the blood has occluded the narrow path of the artery and is also affecting the heart itself. And when you hear about, you hear, or oh, atherosclerosis, it's just a hardening or a scaring usually from the build up of the bad cholesterol on our artery. 
when you hear of this, I need you to know that it all could be a trace leading to um, heart attack. Sometimes we can hear something like coronary heart disease. Coronary heart, heart disease is just uh, our, uh, the, our coronary, the coronary artery is just the artery that, that supplies the heart itself with blood. Now we have we have arteries coming out of the heart to various parts of the body, giving them available nutrients and oxygenated blood. But when you hear about the coronary artery, this is the particular specific artery that supplies the heart itself. And you know, I have always made illustration that your heart is just your fist. So when you are loading that heavy meal, heavy lunch, heavy breakfast, <laughs> with so much um, fatty sometimes, and the blood density is high with fat. I made the illustration the other time. I said it's like as if you, 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 the blood that should be in a water form is like is now like in a mold form. It's like potter potter. So. Then when this one happens, the coronary artery is either clogged or blocked with this um, uh, cholesterol that has occluded and with also the densely, densely high percentage of our blood with fatty substance. I don't want to just go on talking without letting you know that there is room for you to call in. Please do call in. And better still, you can make us an SMS. We're going to answer a lot of SMS here. And the number to call is 081 081-861-758-66. 081-861-758-66. Maybe I should just uh, answer some of the in incoming calls as uh, uh, that some people have sent us an SMS. What is the symptom of heart attack? I said yesterday, heart attack does not actually show symptoms at the initial stage. It will eventually show. By that time of eventually showing the symptoms, you are already at the extreme end of the of the attack. If you're lucky, some of the sign could be an ischemic heart attack. To a transcend ischemic uh, 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 attack. That's a TIA, transcend ischemic attack, which will be as like a, a, a test dose of heart attack that will actually lead to stroke. But most of the time, one sometimes, especially in men, you have this gripping heart, I mean, chest pain. And it's always when you are uh, probably above 40, you're going to 40, 45, 50. You have this, ah, uh, this pain in my chest. Before you get to that time, some of the symptoms might just be restlessness in the night. You are just can't sleep. There's insomnia. You can't sleep, you can't feel, you can't close your face out. You know when people say they can't sleep, I wonder how. The moment I hit my head on the bed, then I just I just went to the to the nearest heavens. When you find it difficult to sleep, you're toasting up and down on the bed, you can't sleep, you sleep 10 minutes, you wake up the next three hours, you can't sleep. I need you to go to the hospital, do a total checkup. And please have ever been saying as long as you are above 18. In your handbag as a lady, in your laptop carrier or your you know um, back hopping uh, bags put a speed pump manometer a blood pressure apparatus measurement in the back or on your arm bag or wherever just do your blood pressure every morning it's ideal for you because the issue the, 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 the truth of the matter is sometimes heart attack does not show signs then for women, most of the time when you're extremely stressed, you are overlabeled and you start feeling a pain just by the neck here, at the back of your neck, you just feel this pain or some pain from the jaw, from the cheek, you start, I see something is crippling in your cheek, in your jaw, your neck, you have this terrible neck pain, the 
there is no way you talk, there is no way you do your pillows, the pain is there. It regates to your arms and also to the back, the, 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 the shoulder part, the back side of the shoulder. I need you to see the doctor fast. And uh, I also want to answer another question. We said the number to call in is 081. 861758 Good morning, madam. Please, I always watch your program on Galaxy TV. You are welcome. I have a question. I saw my menstruation on the 7th, uh, the 7th of um, 7th, 10th. 10th should be August, uh, October. Uh, then 6th of November. Then 23rd of November, then 8th of December. Please, is this normal? I'm worried. Ah, there's always an, an issue with we women knowing how to calculate our ovulation. I need to repeat this. Now, the, the timing of our cycle is not in the day or uh, the date of calendar. Rather, the days of the cycle. It's not in the dates, it's not in the counting of the dates of the calendar, but actually the days of the cycle. Now let's look at this. If you saw your menstruation on the 7th of uh, October, you didn't tell us how many times you bleed. So plus or minus, let's assume you bleed for five days or four days. Those are the days you will count. No. Actually, the seventh, the day you count, that seventh will become first of October. Eighth will become second of October. Ninth will become third of October. Ten will become fourth of October. The tenth of October will become the fourth of it. Let's assume you bled for those four days. Now, I will stop bleeding after that for the fourth day, which is a uh, 10th of October. Those are the days you will count. Then, when I say stop bleeding, it means even the spots on your panties are no more there. Then start counting. What happened next? The next day, which is the 11th of October, you will be dry. Keep counting. You will feel that nothing comes in your dry. Keep counting and counting and counting and counting till you will discover that if you're a normal circle person, 14 days plus or minus 2, that you will start seeing a field in your body. Some people have a fuller breast, some people have a painful breast, some people have some swollen breast, some people have feeling on their uh, waist, some people have pain, some people just having Cramps. Some people have a feeling of unwell. Some are very moody. Some are very apparatic. Then you just discover that from your reproductive system, the, the leaf of your reproductive system is wet. That's an indication that you are ovulating. So that ovulation only is for two days, plus or minus. If the egg stays in the system not more than two days, plus or minus four. But then, when you start feeling the wetness in your reproductive organ, that's the ovulation. And before you know it, the second day, you feel more wetness, like slimy, in texture, uh, like cartilage. It's slimy and it looks like cartilage. When you feel that, that's actually your ovulation. Then after which, you see, the dryness again, shortly after that, your circle. Those are the ones you count. You don't count the day of the calendar. You count the days of the circle. So with that, sometimes because, like we said, some months are 31, some months are 28, why so are 30. So when you notice all this, sometimes your circle will come twice in the same month. So it is the calculation of the days of the circle that matters. Let me also ask this question. We said the number to call in is 
me at him by all those questions on circle, on um, uh, erected dysfunction, on um, low sperm count, you could get in any leading bookshop. You could get it in any leading bookshop, Intimacy in Marriage by Fumi Akimbali. This book will explain in detail some of those questions. And you can always see us at number 21, Wale Ugujimi by Tasty Fried Chicken of Pepe Allen by Agbaoku Street of Ireland or maybe between 12 and 2.30 every Thursday. There may be a need for us to do a referral for you. There may be a need for us to refer you to some doctors or to some hospitals. There may be a, a need for us to just give you some health tips and lectures and also explanation, details explanation. There may be a need for us to give you some medical assistance too. So, every Thursday, we are there, you give us a call before coming, and we'll meet up with you there. And for a lot of us that have been asking questions on menstrual circle, get to my book, Intimacy in Marriage by Fumi Akimari. Any other leading bookshop is there because I keep on answering the same question over and over again. Please, ma, how can I see you for discussion on this topic of last week and some other things which I, I can't mention here, especially on my circle. You see, it's still the same thing we're talking about. So you get the book, you, you get all the information of your circle in it. Now, let's continue with um, what we have for today. If you call it in and we're not picking, make us an SMS. I said the heart is an organ about the size of a fist, fist which beats day and night 60 to 80 times per minute. Most of the time, we should, give, we should be celebrating, celebrating the birthday of our heart. The day you're born and you're celebrating your birthday, celebrate the birthday of your heart because this is a very strong muscle that works in the morning, works in the afternoon, What's in the evening? What's in the night? In the middle of the night, while you're sleeping, your heart is working. So when you're celebrating your birthday, celebrate all the organs in your body and actually give thanks to God for them. Your brain is always working. Your heart is a very strong muscle. Even if your heart is outside your body for the for the next uh, hours, it, it it will still self sustain itself with its own uh, blood, with its own neurons. Now, with his own chemical reactions. It's not amazing, and that's why you should not take your blood for granted. Anytime you're doing your blood pressure, also check around also your heartbeat. It's very, very important. And I need us to note that, besides that, always measure your blood, uh, your, your, your pulse rate. Your heartbeat will be seen where your pulse rate are. Sometimes there is an artery just by your wrist this, in, in this way. When you make a little bit of depression, you just say boom, 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 boom. That's the happy. Sometimes if, if you just put your hand just below your hair loop here and just make a little bit of depression and you stop talking, like myself, give that to stop talking now and then um, you just feel it. That's your heart beating. You boom, boom. Just like that. So I need us to know that this heart should be celebrated. When you're celebrating your birthday, when you're celebrating in a, 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 any anniversary, I need you to say thank God for my heart, <laughs> thank God for my brain, thank God for my liver, thank God for my kidney, thank God for my stomach, thank God for most of those things because they are really working tirelessly. I need to answer this other question, then we'll go for a short break. You're still on to turn out with Fumi and Kimbale, and we are staying in here, we'll help you to get information, and we're still talking about how to prevent a heart attack. How to prevent a heart attack. Then the, the, the other questions we've been asking them on the symptoms, and I said, amazingly, to be candid. They don't show signs and symptoms immediately. By the time you're seeing those signs and symptoms, <laughs> you
you are actually at the grave of a stroke. Now, well done, Mrs. Tumi Akimbari. Uh, I have appendix and I don't have money for operation. I'm poor. What type of drug food am I going to be taking? Hmm. You have an appendix. Do you know what? I will, I will, I will enjoy you to go to a government provided assistant hospital. Because if it's an appendix that may later on become a, 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 a infected or anything, it may lead to busting, a sudden busting, and you may lose your life. Now, you could always look for assistance. Like if you go to any of those government provided teaching hospitals, you will be amazed you may not pay much. There are, there are some of these hospitals provided by churches. We have some provided by our Catholic churches. Look around that, search for that, and go up an appendicectomy done. Because appendicitis may eventually bust, and you may eventually lose your life. We'll be going on a short break. We're still on to a doctor in the house, and I'm still here for you for my family shortly. To the break. Are you concerned or worried or troubled about your health, about your marriage, your home, your children, your family? I know. Women out there, we are cumbersome with loads of activities. We are even under the pressure to perform pressures of all sorts of runs and goals. For this singular reason, I have come up with a package that is full of information, educative, a packaging that is so practically providing solution for every woman out of that. And that's why you have to join me on Time Out with Fumi Akimbade, the prestigious station, Zim. Time by 11 to 12, Monday to Friday is a live program. Did I just tell you that my name is Fumi Akimbade? Yes, I'm Fumi Akimbade, your certified sex therapist, your sexual health consultant, family and home management expert, and guess what? Guess what? Just guess. One and only host of this exciting program that is on air. Time out with Fumi Akimbade. So, I'm looking forward for you to join me in the next episode. I 
divided into is that not four? Four, 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 four different. So from January, February, March, April, I need a plan. I remove just a little bit of my of the quant, 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 quantity of my meal off for four months. The next four months, we did I did January, February, March, April. Then May, June, July, May, June, July, August. No, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. I did another. I doubled the, the portion of August, September, October, November, December. So I divided the month into three. I did another one of. By the following year, it was easy for my body to adjust. And that is it. And if you want to reduce your weight, I keep on saying, let carbohydrate consumption be taken at least by 3 p.m. By 3 p.m., you're not taking carbohydrate. If there's anything you're taking, it's fibers, it's fruits, it's juice, it's veg. When carbohydrate is taken by 3 p.m., there is no way the calorie will not be used. There is no way metabolism will not be working and will change your glucose to energy before bedtime. But if by, by the time you're taking your dinner between 7 and 8 or, or 9, maximum 9, you still have a heavy carbohydrate. You will be trying, but the weight you still be, you still be worrying. You will be able to meet it. You will be able to lose it. So we're actually saying here that all the information we're giving here is just for you to be so much medically informed. So that you will, I'm not saying make us be your best friend, but make, um, um, make examination, make clocking, make lab tests, your one handy, informative uh, uh, institution. Do some tests. Know what is going on in your body so that you will prevent medications that may have side effects that may also make us go bad. I want to look into another question here. The number to call in is 81 081-861-758-66. 081-861-758-66. The person that feels chest pain when he, he or she laughs vigorously or you, 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 you shout vigorously and you have chest pain, maybe sudden, maybe chronic, go to the hospital. You might just discover that there might be one or two things you just need to do. And if you if it's done, you'll be fine. Let's take another question and um, we'll continue with what we started. He said, please madam, I always have palpitation. What is the cause and what should I do to avoid this? There are a lot and lot and lot of things that may cause palpitation. Like I said, are you familiar with your Pulse rate. We say the heart pumps blood between 60 to 80 times per minute. The only way you can know is do you know your pulse rate? Now, when you say palpitation, are you sure you know what you're saying? So, to be on the safer side, I would still want you to go to the hospital, lay this complaint, and get yourself examined. Good morning, madam. What causes gas in the stomach and in the intestine? Because I blush, I blush a lot. It makes me uncomfortable. I visit my doctor. I use so many drugs and antacid, but still persist. I think we should just take a lot of aloe vera. We will always be healthy, and I still continue to take a lot of aloe vera and take a lot of lime. It may help you, and also do a lot of exercise. I know most of us will run away from exercise. I, I, I need us to know that exercise is very, very healthy and vas, 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 vascular friendly. It's heart friendly. And anything that will help the heart invariably every other organs in the body. So go to the hospital, get yourself tested. My name is Happiness. My menstruation lasts seven days. I don't know, is it normal or not normal? You see, I know I always come across this issue of uh, menstruation. I keep on asking the same question over and over. And I need to use this medium to 
tell you that you could just get my book Intimacy in Marriage by Fumi Akimbale. With that, you'll be able to understand all those various questions on menstruation, menstrual cycle, menopause, the work of estrogen, the work of progesterone, the work of prolactin, and how to know your normal safe period and the, the periods that are not safe. There's another question here. Does one with low blood pressure need to eat cholesterol food, healthy cholesterol food? Because if your blood pressure is low, you may definitely not have problem with cholesterol. But I will still need you to test your cholesterol level. Because even with low blood pressure, there are the one free radical indications of some people having cholesterol. We're not talking about that cholesterol should not be in your body. We're saying there is healthy cholesterol from healthy fat. We're saying there is unhealthy cholesterol from unhealthy fat. And we're saying this unhealthy cholesterol are what we should work on. That's why if, when you use food remedy and lifestyle remedy to prevent unhealthy cholesterol, you're still building your healthy cholesterol from some medication as they're killing it on healthy cholesterol, they are also damaging the healthy cholesterol. So that's why if you are 18 and above, go to the hospital, do a test. Let's know your cholesterol level. It may be hereditary, it may be your gene. You may not be eating any of this unhealthy food, but it may be your gene. So when you know it's in your gene, you know how to have some precaution behind your brain so that when you do this, you are healthy. And I said that old age is not synonymous to sickness. That you're old, you must children. I, I just tell people that when they, I ask them to do one or two things, and they're like, Are you sure? I said, My brain is still intact. My head doesn't mean that. That's <laughs> I still have very good memory. And even if, if I forgot, I still have, I have a help. Somebody called the Holy Spirit that will teach me all things, show me things to come. So I don't have a problem with that. I'm just trying to let us know that because you're early doesn't mean you must be sickly. Let me take this other question because our time is actually uh, so spent. I need to just answer a lot of this question. Good morning, madam. I am one belly. I was taking lemon lime water, but I was told I can't take it because I'm an expert and mother. I want to ask if I can continue. No, you can't continue. You can't continue with lime lemon if you are expecting and you are wait for your pregnancy to get to time, wait for it for the time you will deliver. After delivery, do a sick bath, do a kegel exercise, do a tummy tucking, do a press up, do all those exercises. Then ration your portion of your fatty food and also if you are not going to have children again, you can resume lime and lemon. But if you are still wanting to have kids, don't take lime and lemon. Don't go even near lime at all. Lemon may still okay once in maybe six months. But I would want you not to go near it at all. Let me take another question. I said the number to call in is red one eight six one seven eight seven five eight six six. And if you need us to help you, only on Thursday we are at number twenty one. What you going to mean by tasty fried chicken or Kwebi Allen by Agbaoku between 12 and 2 30? We're there to help you with many medical information. We're just giving you tips here. We are there to help you with many sexual education. We are there to help you with many health issues, many uh, child family issues, even some law issues. We are there to help you, even to make referral for you. We are there to help you. Maybe I should answer this question, and if you're calling in, I would rather you make an SMS. We have over 3,000 SMS pending. So if you make an SMS, we'll pick it one after the other. My name is Nancy Chika from Avede. Please, mom, my body is heavy while I'm working. I think you should do a lot of exercise. <laughs> if you feel heavy while you're working, they're wrong. Run a little bit, run, walk briskly a little bit, jump a little bit, skip a little bit, do that over and over, your body will be light. You just, you know, when somebody tells you my body is heavy, you are indirectly saying your body is weak. 
You are either even saying your muscles are passive. You are either even saying your muscles are not sleeping, you are not activating them. Every other muscle is following suit. So I would need you to do a lot of exercises. Don't sit, don't always sit down. Let's see this, please, please, madam. Enlighten me more about my menstrual period. Here we go again. Uh oh, I need you to get the book Intimacy Married by Fumi Akingare. I think now will help you. So many questions on menstrual cycle. We can keep up answering the same question over and over and over again. Please, I'm suffering from private part scratching. How can I treat this? Get the book. Every treatment for that is in situ. And in this time, girls, there are just some things we might not be able to mention. But I want you to know that healthy living, healthy living is very, very good. And take a lot of water and shape that part up. And make sure that you're, if you're taking so much antibiotics, take a lot of multivitamin fruit and veg or even some packaged one. They will help you. Then I be going to do an STDS test or STI, sexual transmitted infection test. You might just not think something is wrong with you, but those tests will discover a lot of things that you may not know. And you know, our body is a very powerful organ that it does not, it fight, fight, fight on our behalf until it can't fight again. That's when we feel sick. So I need you to get to the hospital. Wow, there's another question here that I might not be able to answer this at this time belt and I need us to visit us where we are in the office. Good morning. God bless you. I thank you. I thank God for your program. Now please, my spam cell is very watery. What can I do? Am I? <laughs> well, I might not be able to answer half of the question, but if your spam cell are watery, this is the physiology behind watery spam cell. Most of the time, they are not actually watering. Believe you me. You know what? Maybe the ejaculation is not strong. Or maybe you just felt that. But if you take a lot of walnut, if you take a lot of um, bitter butter, if you take a lot of onions and garlic, everything in family of onions, take a lot of um, uh, watermelon with the white of egg, Walnuts, garlic, um, on ripe plantain, mostly on ripe plantain, anything that has zinc, it will make the viscosity to be thick. Because most of the time, when you say it's watery, it's watery, it's just that the viscosity is not high. But sometimes, what you eat affects your general body system. So it might not actually be that in you. So I need you to go to the hospital, get a test, do a urinalysis, do a counting, another stuff, and also eat healthy. Then sleep well. If you're a man and you're stressing yourself, or you will work where there's a lot of chemicals and you don't put a protection on, all the, uh, the smoke of the car, or the smoke of the gym is always, I, I, I know a patient that works where the gym is heavy and he is not deaf, but he is. Not because he was, he was deaf by birth, but where he walked, the noise was so much deaf. I mean, I mean, as in like damaged the eardrum, as in I like tore the eardrum into two, and it could hurt you here. So protect yourself and don't put your laptop on your on your lap, even though it's called that, and don't put your phone on your on your trust pocket. Let it be a pouch, let it be free because of the radioactive agent. And also, I have to stop here because <laughs> it's time off for today and from me and from everybody in the we say, don't keep your family on your felt otherwise. Always make sure you are, you are well informed. To be well informed is to be for hand or one and to be hand. So I need you to. Even if I've said all, oh, you could still go online and Google what books, what health organization says about this and about that and about this. So from me, au revoir, bye for now, till tomorrow. It's another wonderful time. We're going to have a very beautiful guest in the house and I, I, I'm going to tell you mind-blowing discovery on still how to prevent an heart attack. 
See you.